Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, we're going to be smoking up some Alaskan salmon on my Yoder Frontiersman offset smoker. Stay tuned. You can see, look at this bark. It's crazy. Oh man, this is perfect. It helps to start with a nice sharp knife, okay? Oh my goodness. Look at that. All right, so right here in front of me, I've got four gorgeous fillets of Alaskan salmon. I've got a neighbor that went on my dream vacation in Alaska, went salmon fishing, and this is what he brought back. He gave me some to smoke. We're also gonna smoke some for him. I cannot wait for this because this is the best salmon that money can buy or that friends can give their other friends for free. All right, let's get into the cure that we're gonna use for the salmon. Okay, now this is gonna sit in my fridge for probably eight hours before I even smoke it. So I've got one cup of kosher salt. So you wanna use kosher salt, not table salt or rock salt, okay? And I'm also gonna add three cups of brown sugar. There's one. Now I'm not gonna pack it or anything. These are just heaping little cups here. Two. Three. Now you wanna do this before you start touching the fish, that way you can save your brown sugar and everything else that you're gonna use, okay? So just gonna move this aside. And then half a cup of black pepper. Just like that, okay? Gonna mix this up. Give it a good mix. All right, let's open up these packages of the salmon. Now, before I open them up, <clears throat> this is from a fishery called Tulch N.A. So this is where my neighbor went fishing. And again, when they catch them, they fillet them right there in front of you and flash freeze them to help keep a lot of the nutrients and keep the salmon nice and fresh. So just open these up. And again, I will be going to Alaska one of these days to do the exact same thing that one of my neighbors got to do. That's on my bucket list. Man, this is gorgeous, the gorgeous color of the salmon. Now, these are all wild caught, okay? In Alaska, you can't have farm salmon. Everything's gotta be caught fresh or wild caught. Okay, so this is the absolute best salmon that anybody can get. Got four beautiful fillets. Now, I was gonna remove the skin, but you know what? There's a lot of nutrients in the skin and we'll just remove the skin uh, later. Okay. Look at this, beautiful salmon fillets, okay? What you wanna do is feel for any bones in the meat. And actually this has a, quite a few, okay, quite a few right here. I'm gonna go run and get my tweezers and I'll be right back, stay tuned. All right, so I made an audible. Now I tried to take off a couple of the bones, but they are in there, okay? The bones will come off a lot easier once the salmon is cooked and normally, See, so I can feel the bones from right here this way towards the head, okay? So it's just a small section. And again, once the salmon is smoked, you can go in there and pull the bones out if you want, or you can just kind of eat around them if you will. Let's get to curing the fish here. I've got a plastic container, and these work best. Just a really cheap plastic container you can buy at your dollar store, okay? I'm gonna get my sugar mixture and add a small layer on the bottom. This is just my curing sugar and salt and pepper. Just add a little bit on the bottom. Now we're gonna be putting these skin side down in this bowl. Okay, so just like that. And then add a good amount of this mixture to the top. What this is gonna do is it's gonna draw out the moisture from the salmon. I gotta tell you, when they flash freeze it like this, 
it really holds together and i gotta tell you it smells like it just came out of the water it's that it smells that fresh okay it doesn't have a real fishy smell if you do you got a problem okay so add another layer right here in the bottom grab another fillet just like this put it right on top of that one and repeat the process Okay, make sure you add enough, like I'm adding here. Handful at a time, just like this. Get this tail end of it as well. I'm probably gonna fold this over just like this. It'll be fine. But add enough of your curing solution. Just like that. Make sure you cover it really well. Don't leave any of the fish exposed. And you'll see what's going to happen to this brown sugar, salt, and pepper mixture in about eight hours or so. All right. So I'm going to cover this up, pop it in the fridge. We'll see you guys back in eight hours. Stay tuned. All right, so eight hours later and our fish is ready. Let me show you this here real quick. So it's been in the cure, kind of marinade, if you will, for eight hours. And the brown sugar has drawn out the moisture in the fish. So the brown sugar, the salt, and the black pepper. So this fish is gonna be really stiff compared to what it was earlier, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse all of this off under the sink in cold water, and I'll bring you guys back. Stay tuned. All right, so we've got these salmon washed off, took all the brown sugar, the salt, and the pepper off. Some of the pepper still stayed on the salmon, which is fine, okay? Now, one thing that I did wanna try is to remove the pin bones now that the salmon is being cured, see if it's any easier. And again, if I, I was actually gonna remove the skin. If you remove the skin, those pin bones would have come out with that tweezers, but again, it was a little difficult earlier. So, all right, the surface is nice and dry. So I can see the pin bones a lot clearer now. And again, the salmon was already a beautiful kind of orange color, but now the, the pin bones, you can probably see that on camera now. So just gonna try one here. Oh man, super easy now. Oh man, a lot easier. So I'm gonna take a few minutes, pull these pin bones out, and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. All right, so I've got the majority of the pin bones out. There's still a few in there. Just let your guests know that there might be some pin bones in the salmon. And again, look at this beautiful color. Okay, so one of these fillets, I'm not gonna do anything to it. I'm just gonna smoke it just as is. I've got these cooling racks right here. Now these are gonna sit on my counter for probably an hour just to get that surface to dry out. Now don't worry about the fish boiling. It's already cured, nothing bad is gonna happen to it. So just let the surface dry. If you have a fan, you can actually put the fan on the salmon to help dry it up a little bit. So on one of these fillets, this one right here, I'm gonna use some of this rub. This is the peach barbecue, the sweet peach. Now I'm just gonna add a light layer, okay? I mean really light, just for a little bit of extra flavoring. You can see how light I'm going. Okay, and that is it. Let me move this one to my cooling rack as well. Okay, the second filet I'm gonna use this Cattleman's Grill Ranchero Rub. Again, this is one of my new found favorite rubs. Gonna add a light layer as well. Just like that. We'll see which one tastes better. So I'm gonna move this one to my cooling rack. Just like that. And on my fourth filet, I'm gonna add a little bit of both rubs. The 
the sweet peach. Just like that. And some of the ranchero rub on top of it. All right. These are gonna sit on my counter for probably an hour and a half, an hour or so, just to let that surface dry up a little bit more. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go outside and get my Yoda Frontiersman going. Stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna light my charcoal basket for my Frontiersman, and I've got half a basket of charcoal. So the reason I'm only using half a basket is because I'm trying to keep my temperature a little lower than normal probably 175 to 200 in that range. And so I need to cut the amount of charcoal that I'm using to initially start my fire. And also the amount of splits, the size of the splits gonna be a lot smaller than what I normally start my Frontiersman with. So I'm gonna let this charcoal catch and we'll see you guys in a minute, stay tuned. All right, so my charcoal basket is fully ignited. Just gonna dump the charcoal on the far right side and spread it out. Again, it's very little charcoal because we're gonna to try to keep our temperature between 175 and 200. So this is the size of the split that I'm gonna use. Normally I'll start my pit with two or three of these, um, but much bigger than this size right here. So just gonna put that on top of the charcoal. Again, just one split. Let that fully catch. Probably gonna take 10 minutes or so I'll close the lid to my firebox, scrub the grates, and we'll put the salmon on. Stay tuned. All right, so my pit is up to 175. And again, I'm gonna to try to maintain the temperature at 175 to 200. And look at these beautiful salmon fillets. This is the one with nothing on it other than the curing solution after I rinse it off. Number two is the sweet peach from Victory Lane Barbecue. So I'm just gonna put these right here on the bottom rack. Okay, and I do have them labeled with toothpicks, as you can see there. Let's get the other two on. Number three is with the Ranchero Rub. And number four is the combination of the Ranchero Rub and the Sweet Peach from Victory Lane Barbecue. So my smoker here on the bottom left-hand side um, is the coolest spot, okay? This is gonna be smoked at a very low temperature Again, 175 to 200. The internal temperature that I'm gonna be looking for is 145 degrees. If it goes over, I'm okay as long as I maintain that 175 to 200 degrees. So we'll see you guys back in about an hour. Stay tuned. All right, so one hour into the cook. Let's take a look at the salmon here. Man, it is looking gorgeous. Okay, just a light smoke. Uh, temps have been running between 175 and 190 right where I want it to be. Let's take an internal temperature here. Right around here, 115, 116 degrees. Again, I'm gonna smoke these to 145. 116, 115, yeah, 116. So about 116 an hour in, again, 175, 190-ish is the temperature. So we're gonna give this another 45 minutes or so. Come back and check on them, stay tuned. All right, so 30 minutes have passed. I should be getting close. I'll go ahead and get an internal temperature here. All right, so I'm at 142, man, that's really close. Again, I'm only taking them to 145. Let me check this back one. 136, all right. So I am gonna glaze one of these fillets and I've been going back and forth on which one I should glaze. I think I'm gonna glaze the one with the peach rub because this is a peach jalapeno glaze. This is from Cosmos Q. So I'm just gonna pour it over the middle, just like that. And then I'll brush it back on. All right. Man, these are smelling really good. Kind of like the peach on peach flavor. The peach rub and the peach glaze. Oh yeah. So a few more degrees. We're gonna pull these off and give them a taste. Stay tuned. 
All right, our beautiful salmon fillets are ready and the total cook time was an hour and 45 minutes and these look absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm just gonna slice or cut it back here. And this is where I'm gonna get my, my taste samples from, okay? Just on this tail side. Now the skin might come off and that's okay. Usually if it's smoked, I don't like to eat the skin anyway. Now if it's fried, I'll eat the skin, okay? I'm gonna give some to my neighbor that gave me this fish, so I'm gonna slice some up for him as well. But look at this. These are absolutely gorgeous. This is the plain one right here with nothing on it other than my curing solution. This is the peach, the sweet peach from Victory Lane Barbecue with some of that uh, peach jalapeno glaze from Cosmos Q. This one right here is the ranchero rub. And this one is the combo with the peach and the ranchero. So, gonna back the camera up. Let's give them a taste. Stay tuned. All right, let's give these salmon fillets a taste. Just gonna take a little bit off of each one. Actually, I'm just gonna break off a little piece. Here we go. Mmm. That is delicious. Man. You know, the oil from, from salmon is really good. There's no, other than the uh, curing solution, there's nothing, nothing on that filet. And it's absolutely delicious. I think this one's gonna be my favorite because of the, the sweet and salty. Here we go. Get out of here. Wow. That is really good. Okay, here's the ranchero rub. <laughs> three for three. Mmm, man, I can't wait for this one. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Man, they're all really, really tasty. If I had to take a pick on my favorite one, it's kind of a tie between the sweet peach from Victory Lane with that jalapeno peach glaze from Cosmos Q and this combination one. These are, I mean, they're all really, really good. If I had to, it'd be one of these two. I'm not, I can't make up my mind right now, but these are absolutely delicious. I wanna thank my neighbor for, for thinking about me bringing me these awesome fillets to smoke. Hope you guys like this video. I highly recommend that you smoke some salmon. And if you have a chance to get some Alaskan salmon, there's nothing better. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Joe with Smoking Joe's Play Barbecue. See ya.